everyone's talking about inflation, especially in the UK, where price growth is at its highest in a decade. So I'm wondering about the people behind the numbers. We're here in Bristol, in the southwest of England, where house prices over the past year have risen at the fastest rate of all UK regions. Even if house prices aren't included in inflation in the UK, I wonder whether people here are asking for pay rises to help them deal with the rising cost of living so that they can get on the property ladder and pay their mortgages. And in turn, are employers having to hike prices so that they can cover the bigger wage bill, leading to a wage price spiral? I start by asking local Bristolians whether they've noticed prices going up. Yes, like drastically. Yes. I've noticed like a drastic increase recently, but like some degree, yeah. Honestly, I can't tell you. I can't take really looking prices too often, I kind of just realised I spent too much on a bank account. What sorts of things have you been buying and you've noticed it? Uh, supermarkets more than anything. Pretty much everywhere, really. Like, meat and everything, like that sort of stuff. I think in general, like, food and drinks. Like, if I was to eat out, go to a cafe, anything. Um, obviously the price of clothing and shoes are increasing. Also our electric bill. I think we were paying £42 a month last year and that's gone to £102. The most important is food. I think I can fit, like, like, fit fewer things in my weekly shop now. So given that, are you going to ask for a pay rise? I mean, I hadn't thought about it until you asked me. Not particularly. I mean, the amount of money I make now, I can get by on it. I haven't been asking for a pay rise because I work for public sector, so our wages are set. I feel like it should be mentioned. I understand there's like manufacturing costs and all this stuff, but I think they should factor in the fact that people can't afford for them to keep putting the prices up. Our whole team has asked for a pay rise. I think it's currently maybe in the works. I always think it'd be nice to have a pay rise, but I don't think we'd probably get one. <laughs> but over in Wapping Wharf, I meet Rob Howell, whose restaurant Root serves mainly vegetarian meals. He says rising costs and supply issues haven't affected Root too much, since most of its produce is locally sourced. But come next year, he may need to revisit the prices on the menu. I think the pandemic helped with that in the sense of people willing, are willing to spend more money now. Um, and I think they need to know the true cost of, of having a meal. And, and, and it's not it's not cheap. Like for, for staff to pay people well and pay people properly, especially in the industry when we've had such staff shortages. And I think that that's the whole, like, we need to rethink eating out again, basically. He hasn't yet considered raising wages for his staff. Like, the main thing here is just to try and make it as nice for everyone to work and make sure everyone's happy with, with it and it's a nice time and I think the pay is fair and at the moment we're really busy and, and tips are quite good. But costs and wages are rising in other industries. Back towards Temple Meads, I meet Chris, who works in construction. It's a really big challenge with the lead-in times. For instance, if you talk about insulation, the problem is that that insulation is going up sometimes three times within a calendar year. There is a potential that obviously if you're quoting uh, X amount and then you're your, your profit margin gets eroded. People who are benefiting are um, the labour's good. Say two or three years ago, you'd be getting a plasterer for sort of 100, 120, and now it's been 150 to 200 to, to get the plaster labour. I think, well, the future construction is good generally, uh, but I think the contracts are going to have to be more variable, and the, uh, the clients are going to have to accept a built in, say, 30% cushion, whereas before you might get away with 10 to 15% cushion. So, is inflation just a number, or does it actually worry people? It's going up faster than usual now, so that's a bit of an issue, but I wouldn't say I'm all too worried about it. It would just mean maybe you just have to cut back a bit on um, the, the nice things. It would just mean life's a bit more tight, and can't really afford to do fun things as much.